Fad Zay Mahia resigns as MP for MT Pleasant in solidarity with Chimisa. Fad Zay Mahia has moved swiftly and decisively, announcing her resignation as MP for MT Pleasant in support of former leader Nelson Chimisa, who on Thursday said he was dumping the contaminated opposition citizens' coalition for change CCC party. On Thursday, Chimisa, Zimbabwe's main opposition leader dumped the party he formed two years ago, telling supporters, I no longer have anything to do with the CCC. On Friday, Mahia followed suit announcing her resignation and thanking her constituents. I do not take your confidence in me for granted. In fact, it has been the honor of my life to represent you. This is not the end for us, but the beginning of a different journey. Mahia said she had promised you to always be honest, transparent and accountable in my decisions. It is in this spirit that I wish to lay out my reasons for leaving the Citizens' Coalition for Change and resigning from Parliament with immediate effect. When the CCC was launched in January of 2022, it was with the shared understanding that this new movement would be underpinned by the core value of being citizen-centered. It would put the welfare and aspirations of constituents like you at the heart of all decision-making. Our goal was to build a new Zimbabwe that offered dignity, prosperity and opportunity for everyone. We agreed to run under the leadership of President Nelson Chimisa as we sought to introduce a new way of doing politics. Central to this objective was a belief that we would put the people first. In the wake of the jarring electoral fraud we witnessed in August 2023, we made the tough decision to represent those hard-won constituencies in an effort to push the democratic process from multiple fronts. Despite numerous odds, we fought hard to push back against unjust, anti-people pronouncements like the 2024 budget, the fees crisis in higher education, the power crisis, the broken economy and the imposition of candidates following a series of fraudulent recalls. Despite our focus on a battle of ideas and policy, the regime chose the low road of an unconstitutional onslaught on the will of the people. They used surrogates and dark actors such as a Mr. Chibangu, whom I do not know and have not met. Their goal is to force the two-thirds majority they failed to garner in August 2023 despite unprecedented electoral malpractices that left the region. And indeed the globe, in shock. We have seen the widespread abuse of state institutions which have effectively handed over all levers of control of the CCC to this imposter. The assault on the will of the people. The tainted state of parliament, coupled with sundry breaches of parliamentary privilege, illegal suspensions and the decision by President Nelson Chimisa to dissociate himself from the captured CCC have made it untenable for me to continue in my role as a member of parliament for empty pleasant constituency under the CCC banner. You chose me to represent you on a platform of values which are no longer at the heart of the CCC. I cannot remain a representative of a party whose leadership is unknown to me and whose motives and values remain opaque. I would be failing you if I held on to a position that will no longer serve the best interests of our community. The CCC that I joined is not the CCC that we have left today. I cannot in good conscience be aligned to individuals who have caused unimaginable harm to the people by aligning themselves with a corrupt dictatorship. I also cannot partner with persons who are willing to undo the will of the people and hand over seats that citizens stood in line for hours to vote for just to score cheap political points. This is not who I am or who I aspire to be. The struggle for a democratic society should never be sacrificed at the altar of expediency. I remain committed to the cause of a better Zimbabwe. This is not an end but merely a line in the sand. As always, I will remain a champion of the numerous causes important to our diverse community. I remain at your disposal, as we collectively navigate this uncertain phase ahead of us. Together, we will win Zimbabwe for change. To give legal effect to this decision, I will tender my formal resignation notice to the Speaker of Parliament in line with Section 129 b of the Constitution early next week when Parliament reopens. Mahir added. What has been the reaction so far? 
Former presidential spokesperson Luke Tamburinioka told Nehanda Radio, Chimisa remains Zimbabwe's best foot forward. He remains the embodiment of the people's hopes and aspirations. Given what has happened, walking away was the only viable answer. When a regime and its captured courts conspire to grant the patent and ownership of your own face to paid surrogates as their logo, perhaps it is time to literally and metaphorically carry your visage and walk away with it. We await to see what the carjackers will do, now that the engine has stripped itself away. However, there must be a cogent strategy to protect these institutions from infiltration, capture and abuse. A properly institutionalized political behemoth is a must so that building a new political party does not become our permanent annual preoccupation. There must be a full stop to this continued abuse and capture of the citizens' institutions. I stand with Chimisa, Tamburini Oka added. Another former Chimisa spokesman Dr. Nkululiko Sibanda took to X and wrote, read carefully. No hyperbole, President Chimisa leads a movement. Many have given so much for the ideals that President Chimisa stands for. Therefore, I am confident that President Chimisa will reignite the movement so that it will restate and reaffirm the timeless commitment to a better Zimbabwe. Someday in the future, long after lawlessness of ZANU-PF is gone, it will be said about President Chimisa, though much was taken, much remained and which he is, he is. One heroic fighter. With a strong heart and will, to strive, to find, and not to yield. That he won us a new Zimbabwe. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.